We start with these after several engagements between the South African National Roads Agency, the, Ga the Gauteng Provincial Government, the National Department of Transport and the National Treasury. It has been confirmed that the long-awaited scraping of ETOLs will eventually be effective as of Thursday midnight. As much as this comes as a sigh of relief to motorists, those with outstanding ETOLs debt dating before the cancelling of the system are still obligated to settle the debt. Now, speaking in a media briefing held in Centurion earlier today, the Minister of Transport, Sindesiwa Chikunga, says the focus is now on finding new strategies to fund the road infrastructure. I think for the mere fact that today we are here making this history, closing the gantries, stopping the ETOLs, it actually means that we not only are saying to the people of South Africa, sorry, but we're saying we've heard you. That's what we're saying to the people of South Africa, I mean, I mean of how they, that we've heard you. Umnyango ezo kututa kuzwele onke oba mbisele ne Sandra alu mnyango eze zmali ka yeno hulmen wesifunda ze sase koli. Sabe kini seksi ile ugutu ulelo lo koke lo kusechen ziso gom kwa kula ma itols, bazo kreta ngalo pagati na mabili ngule sinem. Ekuluma na bezi ndaba ungongo sho mnyango ezo kututa usindesiwe chikunga la pa kini seki sekona le zindaba. Utike njenga manje sebe zope gana nenselelo. Yogutike inga kiwa ganjani mali o klasa inga lasa zindaezi mikuwa konje ngo bakitwa nyango oselo loma itolzi. There is an existing law. In terms of the existing law, it says if you have used the, those told roads, you must pay for them. We still have to engage on how should we fund our road infrastructure. That is an important discussion that we need to embark on. And I think when we do that, we'll have to consult and to consult and to explain and to explain. To say how must, if we are to have our, our road infrastructure being what we need to see, how must we fund it? There isn't any country in the world that only depends on the money that they get from their national treasuries like we will get from the fiscals in South Africa and have good roads. Undu na nkulu esifu ndawe sase koli upanyaza le sufi. Utike bazo banezi ngotle zinzulu nentanga nwe sandral maela nane nukti nwa kumi sebenzi. Ya laba kate besebenza umsebenzo kondene na ma itols. Na lapo getu ne temba luguti bazo fia guzufumelu anu. So utike bazo kinwa laba bagate bevele besebenza. We want uh, the offices or the kiosk of uh, 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 Sandra that are in our malls, that are in our highways. We want to utilize them for DLTC services. Um, so, so it's part of the infrastructure that we want to, to tap in. Uh, but also, you know, we run Nazi span. We don't want the workers that we're dealing with this issue of ETOLs, that their jobs must come to an end uh, after midnight. No, 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 no. We want to engage in discussions on how best uh, we can utilize them uh, for the function that we have. So it's part of the discussions that we're going to, 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 to deal with. But I think it was very clear. What is key is that the countries can be utilized for also speed enforcement. Gogusho gumnyango ezo kututa kuzelonke. Imkwa kwa yase ekoli zo kubeka nukuba imikwa kwa zelonke. Yezege ingalasi zinda izo bi kwaso ngulu menwe sifunda ze sase ekoli. Ngo otra so malo lzo ya kwa sandral. Ogzo bege sek pegele lo angayo. Lemi kwa kom. Ezindabe nze soe to TV. Kubeko mkonde simieni. Esen churuyon.